I made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life, whatever price it will take, I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice. It's not human worship. Hallelujah. Or a robot. Help Benny. He's in trouble. And all of a sudden, somebody's prayer point becomes a gift. Hallelujah. There are men of God who just... Do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see, God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Access to financial and material resources. Write it down. Access to financial and material resources. Part of the fringe benefit of the coming of a man into your life. Access to financial and material resources. Listen, listen. Every one naira, every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now. Praise the Lord. Every land Koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now. Every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account, there is an entity holding it now, like this. The money for your house is in somebody's account. So when you start building a house, it will not fall from heaven. Transfer will be made, transfer will be made, transfer will be made. Human beings. There are human beings that are generous enough to change your life. Listen, Koinonia, hear me. It is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy. There are absolutely benevolent human beings. Your own price is to win their heart. You can go to bed. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. He didn't say, and Lot believed what he believed. Lord, just walk with him. Hallelujah. Do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere? Uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony. Somebody she knows, they were walking along a path, a road, and then the person was quite a senior man, and then he met a very big man, and he was greeting the man. And whilst he greeted the man, he gave the man, you know, the person she was working with now. That stranger, rich stranger, gave some money and looked at her. And said, ah, young lady, he decided to give her something too. Just like, he was not even counting. She said when she counted it, she found that it was 50,000. Just because she was working with who? Think of, think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah i left my house with five hundred thousand now i have twelve thousand what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell. It's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid. Men can bless you for no reason. You must believe this dimension exists. That a man can just bless you. I've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way. For no reason. I don't even know some of them. Hallelujah. Let me share a testimony that will bless you. I share these testimonies to encourage our faith. I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, 
On my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh guy, you know I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hard-working man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything everything that was in my pocket i don't know how much but it was it was nothing less than twenty-five thousand. he said take everything and give the man as soon as i draw from the car i said mr man you do not know me but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is, i hope this is not blood money and etc etc et i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until I entered, the man was shocked. That's the kind of experience that is, I didn't know. You will answer me this way. There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let, let, send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges. Accessed, sim- not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I would do it as a seat. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into it. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. One time, I, re- I remember, I think it was one of these, was it Salah or something like that? A, a, part, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? And I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. Ah, he was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This, I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house? They are not in ministry. One day, somebody just said, come and escort me. And they are sharing houses and you just got your own. And left quietly and ran out of the town. Just quietly got a lawyer and said, sign this. It's called prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. That's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season. Prepared blessings. Where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text. Wanting nothing in return. I'm not talking of bribe. Look at this. Many of our parents, some of you know that I'm telling the truth. They are brilliant. According to their level of sacrifice, they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government. But today, nobody can speak for them. There are many people who should be legislators. 
doing very well. Nobody is speaking for them. There are buildings, houses that should be completed, but there is no help because you start on your own. You are receiving 20,000 naira every month. But you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say, once in a while, we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you. Dr. Mike Mudok shared it, a story one time how that, I think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom, they performed a surgery and it was about $25,000. The people had exhausted all their monies and you know, the hospital just called them and said once in a while, we like to do good things to people, just like charity and it happens to be you. I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um, it's like their chapel devastated. She brought out 8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent. We need a tent. Let's beautify the house of God. The rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they are saying. One day, the guy got up and bought a tent, 25 million cash. They brought it. I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason. I want to stretch your mind. Because some of you will never believe it. If you like, say I'm talking about money, no problem. I know you don't need it. But your destiny needs it. <laughs> so you better pay attention. In the name of Jesus. Connection with men. Who can help you? Do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help? You don't need advice. You don't need suggestion. Sometimes all you need... Uh, you don't need help like spiritual help. The direct need. If you need a watch, just sometimes... Case closed, just that watch. Sometimes what you need is financial help. When Ruth... Listen. When Ruth and Naomi... When Naomi stood and was confused, did not know what to do. And Ruth said, I'm not going anywhere with you. Do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning. And Boaz said, leave some. What did she do? Just leave some. There are, there are blessings you will enter into this year. That you too, you will know that... This one, no, is not me. It's purely the sovereignty of God. And I stand in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives. May that come to you speedily. May that come to you speedily. Everybody shout prepared blessings. Say it again, prepared blessings. It, it, it is true. It happens. Where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly. I share with you a testimony. Those who just got admission in the school of ministry, congratulations. But you will notice that a supplementary list came out. It's not in our culture to release a supplementary list. Are we together now? Someone spoke for the students. A voice that I honor that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, no, no. I'm under authority to bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations. But someone spoke for you. Why has this stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing and someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for 
investment. The what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. A helper. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want, Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe. I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be paid by your savings? I so believe well that the word of the Lord is bringing so much change to your life without doubt and if you have been mightily blessed I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with us. Do well to also share this video with your loved ones, family members, friends and all so as this light of the Lord that has come to your way will also get to others. I love you so much. We love you so much. Stay tuned.